Thank you for tuning in to the Helium Radio Network. You are listening to a rebroadcast of a previously recorded show. Welcome to the Feel Better, Move Better, Be Better podcast. My name is Roma Ostman. I am the office assistant, and this is my first time starting the podcast. Hello, everyone. I am joined today by... (laughs) Don't look, don't look, don't make that face at me. (laughs) I'm joined today by... No, Scott. (laughs) Scott. I'm joined today by No, Scott and Lena. (laughs) Yes. Hi. (laughs) We are at 19 Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Street South. You can call us at 727-822-8866 or look at our website at peacefulwarriorswellness.com. And we're going to start off today with the self-care check-in. Self-care check-in. Yay! All right. I, one of my favorite things to do is talk about self-care. Yes. That we all talk about, but we don't do nearly enough of don't do well enough most of the time Mm -hmm. but they are really uh simple everyday steps that we uh can take should take and hopefully uh will take and the only time that you have any control over is now and uh so we'll get started now if we haven't started yesterday or two weeks ago or whenever it was and one of my favorite things to talk about um is water 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 there's no substitute for it um they recommend that you drink at least 50% of your body weight in ounces. Add another 8 ounces for every cup of coffee or alcoholic beverage that you have that day. And add it all up, and that's how many ounces you should, of water you should be drinking. And, of course, there's many benefits to drinking that much water. Uh, one of which is when you hydrate your cells, they actually function better. It allows uh, things to be processed in your body much easier. It also uh, helps lose weight because when your cells are hydrated your body doesn't hold on to the water that you put into it it actually releases a lot more of the water so you lose a lot of water weight in the process so that's a really good thing and you also get a lot of exercise going to the bathroom (laughs) (laughs) i don't know if those count towards your exercise minutes though it's got to be steps it's got to count towards your steps well it may count towards that yes (laughs) and of course uh the other thing that one of lena's favorite topics uh, that she loves to talk about is sleep. Oh, yes. And how important that is in getting enough sleep. It, it really is important. And we were talking to someone this weekend about how most of us in our 20s and 30s do not get enough sleep. Yeah, we're usually running like four to six hours of sleep, you know, if that. And yes. it's oftentimes interrupted sleep. And then you try to get a little bit more later. Yes. Which is really, uh, doesn't give your body the time to recover properly. No, and your body's going to take that sleep one way or another. And eventually, you'll have to take more of it to make up for what you didn't take before. Exactly, exactly. And that's, that's how I feel now, is it? since my, especially into my 50s, I have felt like that I am sleeping so much more. I need so much more sleep to be able to function at that level now. Right. It also makes a big difference in your moods. Oh, absolutely. Um, If you're fatigued, it's really difficult to allow yourself to um, slow down, to process things, to um, not react to a lot of things when you're uh, not properly rested. I actually, uh, I think I was talking to you about this the other day, um, where it's like the same 30 minutes of my morning getting ready feels different based on how much sleep I got like if I'm well rested that 30 minutes lasts forever Mm -hmm. but if I'm like kind of tired I'm like I'm still kind of rushed you know I'm like oh wow 10 minutes have gone by and I'm still doing my eyeliner and if I'm really tired it's just like oh it's been 40 minutes and I thought it's been 10. Mm -hmm. Yeah I really hate it when it takes 10 minutes to do my eyeliner. (laughs) 
I gotta have them sharp enough to cut a man, you know? Like, that's how it goes. <laughs> All right. Well, on that <laughs> note, um, being the only man on this podcast and in the room at the moment, I'm, I'm now scared. Um, if she pulls out an eyeliner uh, and you don't hear from me, uh, please send help at 19 Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Street. <laughs> Three three seven zero five, and the anonymous no, excuse me, the emergency phone number is nine one one. Please tell me you've seen that meme, though, Scott. No. Oh man, I'll have to show you later. I look forward to it. Uh, one of the things that we do in this office is we do like to have fun, and as uh, we say a lot of times in our networking group, we uh, take our business seriously, and uh, but we don't always take ourselves seriously. It's important for. Uh, for us to be able to have that lighthearted humor and interaction amongst each other is a very healthy, important thing. All right. So what is our next topic of conversation going to be today, Roma, as our MC? Oh, boy. Um, I'm in charge now. We're going to talk about stretching because I clearly don't do enough of it. And I need more tips to do stuff at home. Well, one of the very first things I can recommend is one of the things that you do for us, I record um, a live stretching session three days a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 8.30 on Facebook, on our business Facebook page. On you know, I stream it live, and then I post it right away so that you can watch it at your convenience at any time. But then later on, Roma takes the same video and posts it uh, on YouTube, our YouTube channel. Uh, do we have a... It's a... At- PW Wellness? YouTube is strange, and you don't really get ats, but oh. you can search Peaceful Warriors Wellness Center on YouTube or PW Wellness on on YouTube, and you'll find all of our videos. Um, you'll see everything's also organized by month. So we have the November, December, and January and February stretching classes. Um, so, yeah, you can watch them all at your convenience whenever you want to, um, but the live stream is at 830, correct? Yeah, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 830. Um, later this year, need to move them a little bit earlier. Uh, we're planning on moving, and we're going to be on the other side of the bridge when we move, and that's going to affect our commute and time schedule a little bit. So I'll probably uh, do them a little bit earlier uh, when after we move down south across the bridge, but they'll still be available anytime. You think that you'll be able to get the gator to join in with you? I have a funny feeling that they're not very focused on stretching. To be honest oh, with you, no. yeah, I've never seen. I've never seen a gator stretch. Him. Maybe if he watches long enough, mm-hmm. he'll he'll kind of get the idea and follow along. Mm-hmm. And there's probably a few of our clients out there that are like that too. You know, that we're hoping that after a while that maybe we'll follow along. And what is kind of interesting, and I know uh, I'm not sure what our viewership does on our channels one way or the other. I don't. I haven't gotten an update on that in a while. Good. We're doing pretty good. You'll find that if you uh, follow me, that they're pretty consistent. And there's a reason for that, and that's because these stretches that I'm doing and have chosen are the ones that are going to help the most with people that have upper back, shoulder, and neck dysfunction, and lower back. And I mean, you messed it up at the same time. (laughs) And lower back, hip dysfunction. Those are the two most common complaints that we get here in our office. Um, and the two most common problems that people have that, you know, they say that are hurting or creating discomfort or keeping them from doing the things they want to do or need to do through their work day. So the consistency is very important, um, even though it seems very repetitive to do those stretches over and over and over again. Um, um, to even though doing all those, the same stretches over and over again, I've noticed that like, for example, I was getting a massage from Catherine the other day, and she went to go stretch my the front of my thigh, and she couldn't push it far enough. Like, it was just, I had been stretching that muscle for so long. It was just awesome. Like, it was good. It was happy. It was moving, flexible, and it, it pays off in the long run. It really does in the sense that when you start taking care of yourself, and I even know a lot of athletes that don't stretch properly. They work out hard. They practice hard, but when it comes time to stretching before and after, they kind of skip it. Yeah. And it's really unfortunate because a muscle needs two things to function properly. It needs strength to create the movement and make that bone move in the direction you want it to move. Whenever that's occurring, the opposing muscle, I'll use biceps and triceps as an example because it's a very easy one that most people know, you know, the front of the arm versus the back of the arm. Um, 
when mu one muscle contracts, the other muscle has to lengthen to allow that bone to move. And if for whatever reason that uh, muscle is not allowing the movement because it's too tight, then your range of motion is limited and your risk of injury goes up. And this oh. is true not only of athletes, but it's true of each and every person listening. Um, so it's very important to reduce your risk of injury, to improve your range of motion, and by doing so, improve the quality of life that you have in all movement. So um, that's my kind of my deal on, on, on stretching as far as that goes and why you should do it. Um, and then you'll need to get massage probably less often if you're doing some of these self-care techniques with exercise and stretching. Uh, true. No? Well, please, yeah. share with us. Whenever you are exercising and stretching, your muscles are being worked more, and probably they are hurting more. You do have a very valid point. Yep. Thank you for pointing that out. No, so it is important uh, to still uh, do all of your maintenance steps to include getting massages because you are working those muscles more. Yeah, because those muscles hurt more whenever you are exercising and stretching more. You, your muscles hurt. And massage takes that down to a, um, a, a, a more realistic level to where if you are working, especially if you are working out, tr training for a triathlon, your body's going to hurt. I don't care what you do, your body's going to hurt if you're training for a triathlon. But massage makes it more manageable. Absolutely. All I was trying to say is that including your stretching in part of your self-care will make it more beneficial in all aspects of your training, your recovery, your recovery time will improve, your ability to uh, lengthen your stride, for example, when you're running will improve as you improve that range of motion, flexibility, and performance. But I will also say that your massage will become much more enjoyable. Yes. Mm -hmm. That it's not going to be a painful process. So earlier when I was talking about muscle contraction, if your muscle uh, is only able to lengthen a certain amount because of the tension that's in it, that's also a reduced amount of contractibility that it has. So even people that are gym rats that are wanting to lift more weight and, and build on that muscle, that range of motion is very important to have more fi a longer part of the fibers be contractible have contractibility to it so it's just you know it's really important to do your stretching uh, whether you're exercising or not and to take the pressure off of the joints that are creating the pain and discomfort and dysfunction that we all tend to have i'm definitely hearing a lot of the um when i first started here in october and i did the interviews with all the therapists like i'm also hearing echoes of like why to stretch and drink water and do all these things to make the massage experience better in the sense of a relaxation um, for self-improvement, but also to give the therapist more room and time to work with. So instead of spending 30 minutes on one section of the body, they can cover more ground, cover more ground uh, deeper in the muscles. You know? It does make a difference if we don't have to spend the time working the tissue as much to get into it and deeper because someone has spent the time stretching that definitely mm -hmm. is a good point sweet so i think that wraps us up really nicely for this section of the episode of the feel better move better be better podcast we're going to take a short break and have a few messages from our sponsors and we'll be right back Hey, Eric Rimmel here, producer of the Feel Better, Move Better, Be Better podcast. And I'm here today to tell you about the amazing folks at Peaceful Warriors Wellness Center. Not only am I a producer of the show, but I'm also a client. Their staff of therapists are truly the best at what they do. Now is your chance to check them out for yourself. Go to their website, peacefulwarriorswellness.com and click book now or give them a call at 727-822-8866. Use the promo code radio and get $15 off your first visit. Yes, you heard me right. $15 off your first visit. Now this is just for a limited time and make sure to tell them that you heard about it on heliumradio.com. And 
and we're back. Welcome back to the Feel Better, Move Better, Be Better podcast. I am your office assistant host for the day, Roma Osteman, and I am joined with Scott Roberts and Lena Roberts. Hi. Honors extraordinary. Yeah, so we're back. Beautiful. So we are on our next topic today as we covered our self-care check-in and um, tips for stretching at home and resources for that. Um, now we're going to talk about a fun experiment we did last week um, with some vitamin gummies. Scott, would you like to kind of give the premise to our experiment? I would love to. So since October, I've been associated with a company called Juice Plus, and uh, it's been an incredible journey. I think it's really helped out with uh, many facets of my improvements in, in health and wellness, uh, not only physically, but mentally and emotionally as well. But um one of my colleagues had mentioned an experiment that they'd done and I wanted to try it out for myself and see, see how it went. So one of the things that makes a difference um, in some of the nutritional things that you can buy and consume out there is whether or not it's bioavailable. And so what that means is the body's ability to take what's in there and pass it through the membrane wall of your small intestines to get into your bloodstream so it can be dispersed throughout the body to be used um, to make it function and work better. And so when you are taking most supplements, whether the ratio of those minerals, vitamins, nutrients is in the proper ratio or not, and whether or not it actually gets in your bloodstream is kind of what's really important. So even if you're buying, you know, th products off the shelf at the store that seem to be very affordable and the labels look really nice, it's, it's not a regulated industry. The supplement industry is not regulated um, in that way. They do have to have a supplement label, which is very different than a nutritional label. Um, but most of those things that you're going to uh, go out and take are not getting into your bloodstream, which means that you're pretty much, for lack of a better term, and please forgive the frankness, pissing your money down the toilet. So if you happen to have that kind of money, please, instead of putting it in your toilet, bring it down here to Peaceful Warriors Wellness Center, drop it off at the desk, Roma will hold on to it for us, and we'll put it into our accounts. Of course. Right? I mean. More than happy. More than happy. Yeah. You know? Um <laughs> because we could all use more of that. But um, what's really important is, are you getting what you're paying for at all? And that's the, the question. So the, the experiment was um, through, um, a lot of people like to take the gummies instead of taking capsules or pills. Much tastier, definitely. Right, and it's easier to, especially with your kids, sometimes, you know, getting them to take uh, pills and capsules seems more like medicine instead of uh, a gummy, which is more like candy. Um, and so we did a little bit of an experiment uh, using pro uh, some of the Juice Plus products that I've uh, been taking every single day religiously. And so it was uh, my wife, Lena. And uh, here in a few minutes, we'll hear from her on her experiment, uh, her experiences with different nutritional supplements as well. But what we did is we took two of the Juice Plus chewables and we took two of the one-a-day chewables and two of the multivite chewables that we uh, got at the store and we put them into a cup of water and we let them sit for quite a few hours. Um, I started the experiment at 2.30 p.m. and then checked on it at 3.30 and 4.30 p.m. Uh, left for the day and came back um, so where I was in the water for a total of 18 hours and came back and checked it 10 a.m. the next morning. And okay. The what did you, what'd you wind up finding? Ooh, so the Juice Plus gummies, as discussed and as um, we had guessed, um, what's the word, hypothesized that it would completely dissolve. It was almost entirely dissolved by the time that I left. Um, I think one of the gummies um, in there was like maybe a third of what it was at the two or the three hour mark. And then the next morning, it was completely dissolved in the liquid. Um, the second one, which was the Vitafusion multivitamin, 
that one was kind of grossly it looked like two ghosts of a shell of a gummy in like a brown liquidy water so it was like two clear gummies and syrup and the one a day was very similar um so they still kind of retain their shape they're like gummy shapes so like the the vita fusion was more of a gumdrop where the one a day had like a shape to it like it was uh put in like some sort of mold when it was made but um neither of them none of the the gelatinous portion of the gummy had dissolved at all so just with the nutrients inside of it had been pulled out or what i would assume is the nutrients so what we can say because of that is that those two items that we had purchased were not water soluble so there is a obviously a chewing component to taking these and let's just be honest none of us chew our food as thoroughly as we should so we know that some of that gummy is going into our stomach as a gummy you know smaller portions of gummy other two products had actually absorbed water and become larger versions of themselves they were basically waterlogged gummies and holding on to water and i can't help but wonder how much of that gummy after it goes through the stomach which i don't know what anybody is stomach acid content is and what effect it has on those chewables or doesn't you know that wasn't part of our experiment but what i do know is that if it's water soluble it's likelihood of being bioavailable and getting through that um, membrane and actually going into your bloodstream and there are research studies by independent colleges and hospitals uh, that have been done on these products to prove uh, their double blind placebo effect uh, yada 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 uh, they're very thorough in their research when they do these um, and all juice plus does is supply the product that they're not part of the actual research that's being done by these organizations that it is bioavailable it does get in your bloodstream whereas most other things that are out there do not so it was just an interesting experience uh, experiment to show the water solubility and the quality of the product that's there compared to other things I'd heard about it, but I wanted to really see it for myself and 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 document it and see uh, what it does. So it was a really neat experiment. I do enjoy that. And what was the um? There's something that I was also thinking about um through the experiment is that like most of the time when people are taking these supplements, um, whether they are choosing the the gummies or the non gummies, the more capsule forms or like the the filled capsules or the hard vitamins like the chewable hard vitamins um what was it i think it was Catherine. she was actually curious about the sugar content of just gummy vitamins in general she, I mean, yeah she was looking at the juice plus ones but just thinking about it in general and there is just capsule forms of juice plus available right there's not just there gummies. are okay. yeah yeah that's what i take every single day are the fruits vegetables berries um and the omegas in a capsule and um so those don't have the caloric value that the the chewables do, and, and even each serving is 15 calories per serving, uh, so it's bad. negligible mm -hmm. as far as that goes. Um, but they do taste good. I've, I've I've eaten them, and everybody that's eaten them has said that they taste pretty good. The vegetable one, if you eat it by itself, is a little earthy, mm -hmm. but the other two are very uh, sweet. But they're not just sweet because of the sugar content; they're sweet because they're actually using real fruit. And what's mm -hmm. different. Um, about Juice Plus is they're um, the only one that I know of that has a nutrition label instead of a supplement label. And the reason being is because it's whole food. It's not processed um, for the fruit, vegetable, and berry blend. And the Omega blend it does have a supplement label. But what's really neat about that, I don't know if you've ever uh, taken any of the fish oil Omegas. Um, no. Well, a lot of people... Uh, don't like to take them because of, they taste fishy and uh and then a lot of people don't like taking them because of the impact on the environment the thousands tens of thousands hundreds of thousands of fish that have to be farmed and killed in order to get the fish oil it takes like four pounds of fish to get one ounce of fish oil no, i that this is all news to me i am blown away right now i'm so sorry oh, so man. think about all the different products that you've seen on the shelf with fish oil and how many hundreds of thousands of fish have had to be killed in order to obtain the fish oil right that's a lot 
And so what Juice Plus has done is they've uh, extracted the uh, omegas directly from the plants. So one of them is algae, which is the plants that fish eat. And that's super easy to grow, right? It is. And it's nowhere near as impactive on the environment. We're not uh, depleting the oceans of fish um, in, in, in that area anyway. And I'm sure they're being depleted in a lot of other, uh, for a lot of other products. But when it comes to fish oil, they're using uh, organic seed oil and, um, and algae to create the, the omega blend that has omega-3, 5, 6, 7, and 9. And it has the EPA and DHA, and I forget exactly what those stand for, but um, for anybody that's done any research on omegas, they're very important in to what happens with those products in your body and the benefits that they provide you. But it was just a really neat experience, experiment. Um, it was neat to hear about it. And then uh, thank you very much, Roma, for uh, actually doing the experiment and documenting it. And uh, it was, it's neat to talk about. But for anybody that would like to... Uh, kind of do that experiment on your own if you have chewables at home right now go get a clear clear glass or a plastic cup take two of them put them in the water uh and let them sit and come back and uh, see what's happening with whatever version you have whatever whatever brand that is what do you think leah and what has been different with with those chewables than other chewables that you've taken in the past of the multivitamins I, I don't care what they were what brand they were I threw them back up like within minutes of me taking them I was nauseated and usually within an hour I was expelling them um, when I was pregnant I used to have to go in and get IV vitamins IV hyperal um, because I could not digest the vitamins. Um, I tried the liquid liquid ones, the gummies, the powder, the capsules, the um, solid ones. None of them could I digest. Skeptical. And so I was very skeptical when it came to the gummies, and but they don't smell like vitamins because they're they're not vitamins. But I started taking them and had no reaction to it at all. Um, like, I could take it and drink my coffee and go on for the rest of the day and not feel any nausea. Yeah. <laughs> I like gummies. <laughs> so it was, um, and I feel better. I feel um Especially like in the mornings when I go in there and I take those gummies and I drink my coffee and I feel, I won't say I feel yeah. full, but I feel like I have something on my stomach that's not, because um, a lot of times I'm not able to immediately go in and eat breakfast or eat something. That's great. But I can take those gummies and I feel like they I have can. something on my stomach. All right. Well, I think that concludes our podcast for today. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Usually, usually it's me joining you, but today you're joining me. Hey, yay! Yeah, it's been fun. I like it. I do too. I, I did. Huzzah! All righty. Well, I hope you, everyone listening today, has a wonderful day. Um, thank you for listening, and we hope to um have you guys here next time on our podcast. Um, if you'd like to get more information, please check out our website, peacefulwarriorswellness.com. There you can find our blogs, our therapist, as well as other episodes of our podcast. And if you'd like to call us or schedule an appointment, you can call us at 727-822-8866. And we are at 19 Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Street South in St. Petersburg, Florida. Um, thank you so much and have a wonderful day.
Thank you for listening to Helium Radio. The views expressed by show hosts or their guests are their own and should not be construed in any way as advice from Helium Radio. We make no recommendations or endorsements for radio show programs, services, or products mentioned on air or on our website. Personal perspectives expressed by producers, writers, and editors will always be presented as such. Any rebroadcast or retransmission without the express written consent of Helium Radio is strictly prohibited. Thanks for listening.